he answered 10 questions that women are afraid to ask or questions that women think they are inappropriate inappropriate <music> I'm in the kitchen. Come over here, please. Take a seat. Ooh. And you give me a lap dance in the kitchen, are you? For a change. Not exactly. I've got a drink for you. Okay, and then the lap dance. <laughs> Maybe if you are really, really good, that's the only time you're gonna get a lap dance. But for now, I'm going to ask you questions that most women including me are you a woman 100 percent. okay i'll check later on don't worry. so the reason why probably why they don't ask or why they're afraid to ask is because they don't have the courage or they're afraid or maybe they think it's inappropriate but i can ask you anything right darling oh yes of course and you'll tell the truth oh i like through my teeth don't worry i'm sylvia and i'm Alan. It's time to hang out with us while we enjoy love, life, and happiness. The goal of this channel is to make you aware that just because a relationship is old, it doesn't mean that it has to die. So without further ado, let's get straight into asking him the questions that most women want to know. Okay, I have questions for you, darling. Okay. I've written them down because I won't remember all of them. That's because you're I... getting old, old girl. Yeah, I am. Old and knackered, mm. as they say. So I have 10 questions to ask you. Is it true that young men set a goal of how many women or girls they want to sleep with by the time they get to a certain age? Well, I suppose some people, some blokes might. I mean, I've heard of blokes putting notches on the headboard. This is how many lines in this one, another one, another one. Um, I mean, but otherwise you just, when you're young, don't forget this, when you're young, I mean, not yeah. our age, obviously, or even when you're 30, but when you're 18, 19 and all that, you go out looking for, for a quick one. Ah, oh, okay, so it is true then. What makes a girl dateable versus a fling? Hmm, I haven't found one yet, but I suppose. <laughs> you didn't find it. What are you talking about? Uh, what I told you I'd laugh with my teeth. What is all this? I'll find out later on, my dear, don't worry. I shall find out tonight. Anyway, right, what makes a girl dateable? Well, if they're good looking, if they've got a nice personality. I mean, when you first go up, the first thing you obviously do is you look at a girl and you think, oh yeah, fancy that. So you go up there and you might chat, you're obviously going to try and chat her up. But you've got also you've got to weigh up mm -hmm. whether you're gonna whether you're wasting your time. When you got you know if she's like if if she's nice, really nice looking, and she looks like she's in for a bit of fun, you go up and have a chat to her, and you can tell as soon as you start to chat to her whether she is gonna be in for some fun or not. And so you just have to take your chance, like you know. But you always weigh so up the situation. So the question is, dateable versus just having fun. Well, That's you, the you don't really know until you've taken them out a few times. I mean, when you first meet a woman, it's going to be, oh, I'd quite fancy that. Let's see how she is like, you know, you want to know what she's like, what her personality's like, you know, whether she's out for a laugh or not, you know, and then you've got to suss out then once you start, because obviously she might just want you as a one night stand. So you have to weigh things up when you go in and um, see what happens. If she wants to see you again, then maybe you'll meet up again. And then if she seems interested in to see you again, then if you all want more, then you say, yeah. If you don't, you say, oh no, I'm busy tonight. I'm off somewhere else. Okay. And they generally get the picture pretty quick then. Same as you'll get the picture pretty quick then if they say the same thing. Right. Well, uh, still on that question, when you first met me, did oh. you think, ah, she's, you know, dateable or... What did you think? Oh, I thought you weren't bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought, well, at least one good thing, my dear, you've got better looking as you got older. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I'm getting better looking as I'm getting older. Yeah. That's a compliment because it's usually the other way around, isn't it? 
most people get uglier uglier as they get older so if i'm getting or well, maybe i'm just falling more and more in love with you every year you see who knows who knows but, because love's a funny thing but in case i I think you look better looking now than what you did when I first met you anyway. So you're serious? <laughs> that I look better now than when yeah, you first I met think me? Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So I probably So you when were... did you decide that, you know, you could actually, we can have a long-term relationship, we can get married, you want to live with me, you, when, when did you decide this? And I knew for a couple of months, as I would say, that, um, that you were, you know, you look good, you... You know, I thought, so well, it was like, about uh, my looks. That's well, what. no, but, you know, you, when I say you look good, you, you had a nice personality. We seem to have the same things in common, basically. You know, we wanted to, um, you know, enjoy life, but also save up for a future. Like, you know, that's the opinion I got when after a couple of months of meeting you. Like, you know, it's so basically you're saying you only decide after maybe. A couple of months or so. Yeah, because we, we also, I've got to find out what you're thinking. I don't know whether you're thinking, you know, oh, is he all right? Is he not all right? You know, you've got to, obviously in the first couple of months or in the first few, few or four, five, six weeks, you're not going to tell each other, oh yeah, I hate you, this is what you do. I, you have to find out, you know. Right. And it takes True. time. True. Question number three. What do men really mean when they say, I'm a leg man, I'm a boob man. Oh, well, I'm a leg man anyway. I like legs. <laughs> and I know you've never shaved your legs and they're not hairy, so I thought, ooh, that's nice. Because some women shave their legs and if they get, you know, they, you know, they get bristly like my beard. <laughs> you know, you just file your nails down on them, like, you know. But um, I'm a leg man, I like legs. I mean, some blokes like boobies, like the woman's got a fairly nice pair of boobies they say oh look at them boobs and then i'll say but i'll say oh look at that girl look at her legs so i'll never get fake boobs then well you could do would, I mean, you, I pay, don't would you pay for oh yeah yeah i don't boobs. mind i mean there's nothing wrong with a nice pair of boobs but um if you had all valkus vein legs or something i'd definitely pay for you to have all that treated i'll okay. be saying to you yeah get that done get that done yeah, if you had a choice yeah if you have valkus veins and you've got bad boobs mm -hmm. i'll tell you let's get your legs fixed first yeah <laughs> And then we think about your boobies. Oh my God. So you are really serious about legs. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, basically, I don't think you actually answered the question. I said, what do men mean when they say I'm a leg man? Well, I mean, they're like legs. They're, they're just that's what like, turns them on. Nice that now you're talking. Turns them on. It, it turns them on. Yeah. And a nice pair of boobs it. turn a boob man. Okay. Now you've answered the question. So, four. Men stand to pee. Yeah. Everybody knows that, I think. And women sit to pee and to do number two. However, when it comes to do number two, you also sit, right? Yep. So I know there are some toilets. You know, like when we're on vacation. Yeah. I've been to places where the toilets are not deep enough. So or the water level is very the water, high. Or the water level is very high. So we wonder as women that do you have incidents where your pee pee dips in the water? When you sit down you and dips sure in the water. You sure can do. So then you have to hold it. I mean, if you're gifted, obviously, then you have to hold it. <laughs> because it will drop into the water and then when you're doing a number two you definitely don't want any of that nonsense oh, oh yuck so Imagine. remember but oh don't you remember God. when we first went to um we got first got here and we and we were in that rented accommodation yeah. remember i took the i disconnected the um the tube that fills up the um fills up the bowl mm -hmm. after it when it's when it stops filling up the um when it gets near to the close to the level of the tank mm -hmm. then it just fills up the bowl so I took the pipe off there so that it wouldn't fill up the bowl because it, 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 it was too high. Okay. So, so you said you have to hold it. So before yeah. you even sit down, just before you went down, you just... Yeah, hold it. So yeah. how do you know if it's... Well, I guess you just you look feel at it. it, man. No, no, no. Oh. Like, how do you well, know that I have to hold my Because you dunk it in the water the first time and then you Oh, so, you, so it dips in the water. Yeah. Then you hold it. Yeah, then you've realised that what, then you know that toilet you're dipping the water every time. Oh, okay. Well, if it's your first time. Yeah, obviously the first time I sat down and I thought, God, what's that? <laughs> so, so next time when you're using the restroom, you just 
grab it yeah. before you sit down. Yeah. You're ready. Oh, that's funny. But that's going to be disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Well, then you have to watch when Oof. you're having a poop. That you oh, don't, yeah. Imagine when you're... You, oh, have, oh, it, you oh, don't have a, 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 a pee at the same time. Because then you just pee outside the bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to ask you that. Oh, what happens if you need to pee and poop at the same time? Because... That can happen. You can pee and poop at the same time. So then you then you just pee outside the bowl. <laughs> so you're still holding it and yeah, you're peeing you're just and you're trying, pooping. If you feel you're going to pee, you have to sort of put, point it down a bit, but sometimes you'll miss. That's, oh why, I, that's why I didn't like them toilets. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting. Anyway, do you ever sit on your balls? Yes, very painful. Oh, but how... Is it because when you um you might just when be in you're the wrong getting position. dressed no just when you're get no when you might just be in the wrong position or just sat down in the wrong position and you drop a bollock and sit on it <laughs> drop a bollock and your eyes pop out your head and it's ah you know what I think it's as painful as boobs you know if somebody squeezes your boob that can be painful or well, it's not that can be it is painful so I guess it's the same with balls and boobs okay so number six. How does it feel to walk with dangling bits between your legs? You were born with them, so you don't know. The only time you know is when you sit on one. <laughs> and then you know you've got them. If some girl kicks you in the middle wicket, that can also be very painful. But otherwise, it's just like boobs. Like, we just, yeah. they're there. You know, yeah. you don't even know. The only, yeah, when we're running, we don't notice it. But women with big boobies notice it, don't they? Oh, yeah. But men with, you big don't notice balls. it. Don't I guess it. with big balls, not well, just... Well, I mean, there's not, I don't know anybody who's got big balls anyway. The only time you get big balls is when you have to snip. <laughs> and oh. they swell up like tennis balls. Oh, my goodness. Number seven. What is so exciting about football? I have no idea. I don't like football. Yeah, no. Thank God. <laughs> Never been a football person. I've most Super Bowl, racing... but, Yeah, when it's Super Bowl, we are busy watching a movie, innit? We, mm. don't, we don't watch... We don't, we're not crazy about, oh, no. my God. We gotta go and watch the uh, the game, the game, the game. Thank God, I don't have to deal with that. But I know a lot of women out there deal with football games and all that stuff, yeah. you know, with their husbands. But I don't have to. No, I mean when I was in England, we used to what you watch the World Cup because often it was you'd be watching the bits towards the World Cup because obviously lads often sometimes they say right, we hire a big telly, put it in our break room, and we'd be sitting there all day watching for an hour, two hours, however long it's on for, watching the match. So you'd have to keep up with the chat. Mm -hmm. So then I'd watch football, but otherwise I wouldn't have. But since I've been here, I've never watched it at all. Good. Let's keep it like that. What are your thoughts on public display affection? Well, I don't mind seeing people peck on the cheek or have a quick peck on the lips. Mm, like that? Yeah, but... Um, if they're snogging and tongue down the throat and imagine that we are hand up their skirt and hand in his trousers, I mean, it's just not cricket, is it? Mm. Yeah, that's not was, cricket. That's when you hear people passing comments such as "get a room." Yeah, I mean, you don't see obviously people. Uh, you see teenagers doing that more than you know. Obviously, not hand up the skirt and all that. Yeah. Sort, but you see them near enough, wanting a room, sitting on a park bench. But otherwise, it's. And I suppose if you went to the cinema, you'd see him at the back of the cinema. Right. <laughs> if you wanted to. How many women have you slept with? Millions. Seriously, how many women have Probably you slept Probably not with? many. I want to know. I bet I haven't slept with more than... I bet... I'll, it, five or ten, maybe. I reckon it's more like five than ten. Five? Yeah, I reckon I don't think... I, I guess I'm think. number five. Could be. Hmm? Or 105, or is it 1,005? Or is it a million and five? I'm not sure now. But anyway, I mean, I used to knock around with the guys who were good looking, would always pull the girls like, so I mean, I couldn't have been too bad, but I don't remember having a lot of one night stands. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. I wasn't keen on it anyway, myself personally, when, when the all AIDS came out and what have you, it's, that scared me a bit. But then I was a bit older by then, I suppose 1920, I suppose I was, I'm not 100% sure. But I know the guys I used to knock around with, they would always take a girl home. I mean, then there was another guy who would be having, I've knocked on his house before. I used to live in a flat anyway in England. And he would have two girls. He was, he, he was yeah. having a threesome. Yeah, he was having a threesome, like, you know. Oh my goodness. 
actually i need to ask you because remember when we first met you asked me to have a hiv test yeah so i need more detail on that but not for this video no. we'll be talking about it in the next video stay tuned and bye, bye.